Sweet Lips is a family of fish known for big, pouty lips. Its look changes dramatically over its lifetime. Juveniles will have this orange-brown body covered with large, dark-rimmed white blotches, while adults will have white bodies that are dotted by dark brown spots. Now, divers report that swimming juveniles are just fascinating to watch because they wiggle their bodies and they move their fins wildly. They do this so that they sort of appear to be toxic polyclad flatworms or a bad-tasting sea slug to increase their chances of survival. A harlequin sweet lips can get loud, rubbing its teeth together to make a grunting sound that's amplified by its air bladder. Adults feed at night on crustaceans, mollusks, and fish. You can see a harlequin sweet lips, sweet lips for yourself at the Greater Cleveland Aquarium. Nature, it's a curious thing. Hey everybody, it's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. Hope everybody had a great week. Hope everybody's still staying safe out there. Today I got a wild one for y'all. I don't know if many of y'all have seen these or even heard of these before. But this is a Harlequin Sweet Lips. Or as other people like to call them, the Clown Sweet Lips or the Spotted Sweet Lips. Now, these guys act kind of like a grouper, but they're actually in the grunt family. So starting right into it, prices on them, you'll normally spend about $50 for them as a juvenile. Tank size, at the very end, you need a 180 gallon at least with a good 6 foot long tank because these guys do get huge. Now if you do get one as a juvenile and you expect to upgrade your tank, I would at least get a 55 gallon for them as a juvenile. But I'm telling you, they need a lot of room whenever they get bigger. Air level. Tend to be expert only. A lot of people have a big problem with them feeding. A lot of times they don't do well going into the tank and feeding like frozen cubes and food that isn't live. So a lot of times people will feed them things like ghost shrimp and they love them. And it's like feeding a lionfish. Sometimes you got to keep feeding those live little bitty like minnows to them. And then eventually they'll start getting used to you and feeding on other things. So... That's the main thing that would make them expert only, and then the other thing would be having such a big tank. You have to have a large tank to keep these guys because they do get huge. Kemper, they're actually a very peaceful fish. The only time you'll ever see them being aggressive is when they're eating. They're always going to be at the top, first ones to eat every time, so make sure your other fish are getting fed too. Reef compatibility, so they do not mess with your corals. They're actually found in reefs in the wild. They're not going to mess with that kind of stuff, but the problem is they do see shrimp and other small fish as prey, especially when they get bigger. So you definitely have to watch out for that. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78, DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. All that's basic there. Max size, they can get a whopping 3 feet long. I mean, that's huge, especially for a fish you're keeping in your tank. And you can expect them to at least get half that within the first couple of years of their life. So a lot of times putting them already in a really big tank will help you a ton because they can grow really fast. Colors on them, they start out with this brown and white pattern almost looking like a clownfish. But eventually as they do get older, you'll see them start to change and the brown starts to take over a lot. And then it's like their body turns white and they have black spots all over and they almost don't even look like the same fish. It's really cool. Diet, they are carnivore. Like I said, it's one of the most difficult things is feeding them. Make sure whoever you're getting them from, ask them what they've already gotten him to eat. The ones we've taken care of at the shop have actually done really well about eating. We've just been feeding them different kinds of shrimp, different kinds of clams, or little pieces of squid, and they've done really good about eating it. So definitely try everything you can to make sure this guy gets eaten, and sometimes you might have to feed him some live food to get him going. And also, like I said, as they do get older, they will see shrimp and other fish as small snacks for them. So make sure to put him with fish he's not going to see as a snack. Origin, they do come from the Indian Ocean. And compatibility, just ask. These grunt fish normally are in a pack. They're in like a school 
swimming around in the ocean, so I would not be surprised if multiples in a tank would work fine together. The only thing is, eventually they get big, so if you get three of them, you're about to have three fish in your tank that are two feet long swimming around, so they're going to cause a tank to be really dirty unless you have a really good filtration.